dear friends this is my tutorial 47 in Gaussian so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do batch calculation in Gaussian 09 Windows or Gaussian 16 so before going to do this kind of batch calculation in using Gaussian so you should prepare your input file separately for all molecules so this is the model input file i have prepared for you for this test calculations so i will show you the one input file for you using uh, gauss view and also the text view so first i will open with the notepad plus plus so this is the one methane molecule uh, input file so first you have to mention percentage chk equal to name of the system and dot chk and memory equal to 6 million words and n pro shared equal to 2 then you have to mention your theory you have to mention hashtag and theory under this general two section keyword then you have to put optimization and frequency then you have to mention uh, give one space then you will mention the name of the system ch4 then you have to give one space again you have to here mention the total charge of the system methane molecule is a neutral molecule that's why i mentioned zero here if you are using some charged molecule just you have to mention r plus or minus then you have to mention the spin multiplicity for methane molecule the spin multiplicity is one so i mentioned zero charge one spin multiplicity then you have to mention the cartesian coordinate of the methane molecule the methane molecule has one carbon four h mole h molecule so here you can see one carbon is there one two three four four hydrogen is there so this is the cartesian coordinate of ch4 molecule so then you have to give one space then you have to mention what are the atoms present in the molecule here is the carbon is there then h is there we have mentioned ch then you have to mention zero so then you have to mention that what basis set you are going to use to optimize this methane molecule so i am using always 631 g star basis set so if you want to use higher basis set you can also use it that's no problem then you have to mention the four stars that means end of the input file after completion of this input file so you have to give some four stars uh, for uh, spaces yeah, and enter you will get some spaces then only the input file detected and direct the input file is completed so the four star means end of the input file so that's all then you can save it likewise you can prefer for all molecules so I have prepared that a co molecule so this is the input file for the co molecule that means carbon monoxide so then I also prepared a CO2 molecule, then I also prepared water molecule, then I also prepared nitrogen molecules. So you can make uh, what are the system going to run in the batch format, just you can make like this all your input files accordingly, uh, correctly, uh, you have to mention the correct uh, charge and also spin multiplicity. If you did not mention the wrong spin multiplicity, if you mention wrong spin multiplicity, you will get with the error of that calculation. So before going to do that, just to check carefully charge and spin multiplicity. That is very important. So now we will do the batch calculation. So this is the input file. So uh, now we will start our batch calculation. So for that we have to use our Gaussian. In the GAU, you type your uh, Gaussian 09 will appear. Just click it. So you can put wherever you want uh, the calculation folder, your uh, C directory or your uh, some other directory. Also you can keep your input file. Based on that we will make our Mm, batch calculation uh, so first you go to utilities this is the very important things so just to click your uh, uh, Gaussian 09 it will open like this so here you can see utilities just click utilities you can see the first one edit backlist this is the important you just you click it it will appear small windows like this so we have we have to add our input file now so first you, you can see here add is there just you can um, 
click add it will appear like this so it will direct to the calculation uh, input file folder so our calculation file is here is the batch calc folder so these are the, our uh, calculate prepared input file for batch calculation so, so just i will click uh, methane and open so it will ask ch4 dot out file you have to click ok so dot gjf file and ch4 dot output file the, the output file will save as a ch4 dot out just click ok so you can see this is the input file this is the output file name so you can see ch4 dot out here is the output file uh, input file uh, path this is the one so again you can add another molecule co so here also mentioned co dot out just click it again you can add our co2 molecule uh, co2 out ok click it and also add h2o molecule open you can also h2o out click ok and also add en2 molecule just open click ok so we have added all our five molecules so ch4 co co2 h2o n2 so you can see the small arrow like this that means the calculation will start from here so if you want to reorder you can also reorder that's not an issue by adding the input file you can add one by one you can also reorder or delete or anything you can do it so this is the our batch calculation uh, control list so now we can save this uh, batch input file so here you can see file is there just click it if you click it will open like this you can see the save as just click save as it will open save as a dot bcf file this is the batch file so we can uh, type uh, ba tch batch so it's automatically take this extension dot bcf it will save as a our calculation folder so that's all you can see our batch uh, calculation uh, bcf file is saved here just to open with the notepad plus plus i will show you so see so this is the dot bcf file you can see it's automatically saved like that you said created batch file start equal to one so these are the path so i, I have le le left my input files everything in the d directory uh, this is the calc batch calculation folder so the ch4 dot gjf so we have mentioned ch4 dot out already in that uh, gaussian windows so likewise all calculation in that uh, batch calculation folder and also all your output also will save save in that folder itself okay no need to worry anything so we can close this so if you want you can all now you can uh, close after uh, creating this batch input file so we have also saved dot bcf file now you can close it so is now uh, i think re re ready for processing so if you want you can start this uh, click to process the calculation so otherwise what you can do you can also close it this so again you open your uh, gaussian so go to file open you can click batch bcf file so it will come like that so now what you have to do just to close it now the, our batch file is loaded so you can see ready for the batch processing start just you can open and close it that one now you can see here this is the start button just you can click it so you can see ch4 output file name created so our calculation also running the first calculation is ch4 i think now second calculation running co out created under co2 also running i think methane under co2 completed co2 is uh, running now water molecule is running so water molecule completed and also n2 also running finally n2 molecule running so
so now our batch calculation completes so it will run one by one if you want to go to home in night time just you can create that batch calculation and submit it it will run all night morning if you see uh, all calculation will be completed uh, without any problem so first i will show you that output file of methane ch4 just open uh, with notepad plus plus so this is our calculation batch calculation file so you can see here So this is the total energy of the methane molecule. So HF equal to minus 40.51. So if you go down, so normal termination of Gaussian. If you mention wrong multiplicity, it will end up with the error. So you can be before submitting this kind of calculation, carefully check that uh, charge and spin multiplicity, submit your calculation. So we can also view this uh, output file using Gauss view. So open your gas view. So just to drag your output file here, it will come in CH4 data. So you can go to result, you can see vibration. So this is the vibration. So you can see the all vibrations. If you want, you can stop. So if you want to see summary of the calculation, just you can uh, go to result and click summary. It will come like this. So this is the things. So, so like this, you can also do your batch calculation using Gaussian. I will also show you onto molecule out file. So this is the dinitrogen molecule out file. So maybe we will check the bond length. Just you can uh, click this one and you can click it will show 1.10 so this is the bond length of dinitrogen molecule so that's all that batch calculation and type so if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you so much for watching enjoy